Mitchell, nice garden setting here in London. Uh, a nice relaxed start to what should be a fairly hectic tour. We've timed it well. The sun's come out for a change as well. It's been, uh, I think, jumpers on for first time in a few months also. So it's, uh, it's nice to be here and we're looking forward to getting underway. How have you made the transition from Caribbean, which is pretty different conditions to here? You've only had a couple of training sessions, but you think you've come to grips with it pretty quickly? Yeah, we had a few days off, obviously, after the flight, just to, uh, I guess, cool our, cool our jets and then rest up after a few few tests and um, the travel day. So it was nice to, to get out and about and, and sort of enjoy a couple of days off. But now we've been in the training the last three days and getting that juke ball in the hand, uh, getting some time in the nets and getting accustomed to the different wickets uh, and a bit of a, a colder weather also. So it's been good. Have you had a chance to sort of sit back and assess the last six months or so? You've sort of, a fair bit's happening. You come back into Test Cricket, amazing World Cup, um, pretty handy series in the West Indies. Have, do you get a chance to sit back and think about it or do you just keep rolling on? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. Um, there's not too much downtime. I was fortunate enough to have, well, unfortunate enough to, to have a bit of time off with my knee, um, a, little bit of, a little bit of time before the IPL. So it's, for a few of us, it's sort of been uh, straight back into cricket after the World Cup. Um, but then a few guys had some time off as well, so it's sort of been all had mixed preparations leading into to the West Indies, whether it be with IPL or time at home uh, and at the academy. So it's um, it's been a little bit different, but uh, obviously through the Caribbean tour, we started playing some of that cricket that we want to see from from our team and the brand of cricket that we all want to play, and that sort of led into this tour. So uh, we've had a couple of days of training, as I mentioned, and, and now we're looking forward to these these two tour games and hopefully getting some good cricket under the belt leading into that first test. I know the, the captain was pretty keen not to talk about the Ashes while you're in the Caribbean. Has there been a, a group focus on it since you've got here or do you wait till a little bit closer to that first test in Cardiff? Yeah, obviously talking about, about uh, the English team and obviously seeing some of the cricket they've been playing, um, obviously while we've been in the Caribbean, but they're obviously their one day series here as well. Um, talking about some of their players we're going to play against, some guys that we haven't seen so much of. So we, we're definitely talking about that, that first test and being prepared for that but obviously we've got these two tour games to top ourselves up you know, get a bit of cricket time in, in English conditions and, and whether it be with the ball or the bat just um, I guess fine tuning ourselves leading into that first test at Cardiff. And how about you, you're one of those guys that likes a, a heavy workload coming into a, a big series or do you know pretty much how much you need to do and you uh, just work on a few fine tuning things? Uh, yeah, I guess a bit of both. I think you've got to understand your body a bit and, and know when to, to really push hard at training and, and obviously get enough enough rest days to sort of cool down and, and have those days to, to recharge. So for me, I think uh, over the last sort of 12 months, I've, I've liked to, to keep bowling and um, just get that consistency in, in my action and, and that rhythm and that, that smoothness that I like. Um, so yeah, I think playing cricket the last sort of two months, whether it be with the white ball or the red ball, has been good for me to keep bowling. And um, yeah, I think some, some guys are probably the same. Some guys like to, to rest up as well. But um, I think if you like Nathan Lyon, you want to bowl every day of the week. And, and um, it's all about getting better and leading to that first test. And we want to play our best cricket over these, these five tests. So it's, it's a long tour, but you just got to, I guess, know your body and know when to go hard and when not to. There's a lot of talk of the competition for fast bowling places. Is it a fairly tight group, the, the fast bowling cartel? It is, it is. Uh, we all get on really well. Um, we had a nice little dinner together last night also. So, um, look, we definitely get along really well. I think it's healthy competition. It's, it's a great thing to have in a team when you know, five guys or six guys even are competing for three spots sometimes. So, look, we're all trying to get better each and every day and we've got some young guys and some senior guys who can bounce off each other and um, look, we spend a lot of time at the back of the bus together and whether it be playing, playing FIFA on the TV or, or getting out of the training sessions and talking about ways to get batsmen out or, or what the ball's doing. Um, look, we, we spend a lot of time together talking about cricket um, but a lot of time off the field enjoying each other's company also. And do you help one another out sort of with things that you see in the net, or is that Billy's role to, to sort of keep an eye on, on that sort of stuff? Yeah, you've obviously got Craig McDermott there as well, as you mentioned, but um, I think guys who, we've got Mitch Johnson and Ryan Harris who've played the Poms a lot, obviously, in the last sort of 12 months, and I know they're batsmen um, and played in England before as well. So, um, we could, obviously, as you mentioned, we probably bounce off each other a little bit and, and, and give each other some some little things that we've seen, whether it be little things in your action or, or what the ball's doing and, and what they've found with the ball. And, um, so yeah, we definitely work, work with each other on that uh, and Craig's there to, as another set of eyes to, to give us a, a few things as well. And you mentioned the, getting the juke ball in your hand, it's a, it's a slightly different one to the one you used so well in the, in the Caribbean. What are the, the main differences and how do you see it sort of benefiting you in this upcoming series? Yeah, it's just a strange one, I guess, um, coming from the Kookaburra into the, the West Indian Duke, which is, is probably a bit harder and the lack is different to, to I guess, the Dukes we're going to use here in, in the five test matches. So um, I think 
Peter Siddle, who's played a bit of county cricket here in the last few months, um, mentioned that the ball's changed again a little bit with a, a different lacquer or um, sort of come a little bit closer to the, the kookaburra, I think he mentioned, and the way it, I guess, you maintain it with shining and that sort of thing. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see how that one goes. But um, the one we've been using the last three days obviously swings a lot more. Um, sometimes can swing naturally for 80 overs. It's quite nice to shine up as well. So um, I think getting used to that, the different sort of seam on it as well. Um, it's not too dissimilar from the one we used in the West Indies, but it is it's certainly different from the Kookaburra. Still feels nice in the hand though. They always say it's a little bit smaller and it feels good. Is that right? Yeah, I still love bowling with a cooker, but um, yeah, it does, does sit in the hand quite nicely. And when you, I guess, in the back of your mind, you, you, you know it's going to swing for a lot. Um, it definitely helps us out a bit. All right, and just finally, it's a tradition that a New South Wales fast bowler makes an outlandish result prediction before each Ashes series. Uh, do you want to continue that tradition or do you want to put it to bed? Uh, well, I think Joshy Hazelwood's got the similarities to, to Pidge, so um, you might have to go ask him about the result. But um, look, I think it'll be a great series. The Poms will obviously be uh, you know, a hard team to play at home. So um, I think we're, we're looking for a great series and hopefully results in our favour.